I made um, a scout, uh, an occasion scout in, uh, in Vietnam. I had so many things we could, uh, we could use there, but uh, I couldn't find a country with uh, some kind of splendor, wealthy, and things like this. And I've been to Thailand too. Uh, the main research was uh, rubber plantations. Uh, People, you know, and the big, the big mansions that these people had at that time, and uh, I really, I really uh, preferred the atmospheres, the ambience, uh, the locations that I could find here. So, uh, so um, I had sent one of my assistants to uh, to uh, Malaysia first. I mean, he, he gave phone calls to London, Singapore, Kuala Lumpur to get in touch with the rubber companies and so forth, and say, and they they came here for uh, one month. They came back with many pictures, and they were they were really optimistic and very satisfied with that trip. So I came back. I, I came with them, and uh, we uh, we went uh, all over the country, through the country from Johor to uh, Penang, the west coast, you know, everywhere. Uh, three three weeks, three weeks, one month. And if uh, after the first uh, after this first trip, I knew I had the feeling already that the the main locations would be around Penang and uh, around Ipoh. And you have already almost 90 percent of your shooting done yet. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I would say uh, uh, we had seven weeks in uh, Vietnam. We had this is our. Monday is the last week, the coming Monday the last week here, I think it's seven, eight weeks here and we'll have three, three more weeks in Paris in studio and in September two days in Switzerland for the ending. What is your special message in the movie, especially in the sheen, to all your fans out there? Is there a message? I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't think there, I don't think there is any message in this story. It's, uh, it's a romantic story, it's a love story, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an epic film. It's full of uh, adventure. I mean, I think there is no message. It's, you know, it's uh, how personal human destinies will be involved and changed be because of the main history. I mean, uh, I wouldn't say there is a message, no. No, it's, I, I just hope it's a big story with big, big feelings, big emotions. I would like people to say that this movie is lyrical, epic, romantic. I think it, yeah, I think it's enough. Yeah. I think it's enough. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, Miss Catherine Deneuve, um, for the interview with TV3. How do you feel when your agents told you that you're going to be the leading star in Indochine, filmed in Malaysia and Vietnam in Southeast Asia? Uh, the things didn't really happen that way. You know, I've been uh, knowing Rishis Vanier, the director, for quite a, a, a long time. And we wanted to make a film together, together so we were, uh, he was uh, working on this project since now two years, so I didn't receive the, the script as a surprise, you know, we have been working and involved in this project for a long time. And how do you feel when you first arrived in Kuala Lumpur en route to Penang? What struck you most about Malaysia? When I arrived, I tell you the truth, arriving from Vietnam, you know, where there are so little cars and where it's so... I mean, there are more people in bicycle than anything else I've seen maybe in China. When I was in Kuala Lumpur, I thought I was in America, you know, again, with all the lights and the traffic and the people and the jam, the business, the fast, the speed. Everything was very, yeah, speedy. Yeah. I understand you love shopping. Uh, Do I? Yes. So well, I mean, what? women love, sh love shopping or I love shopping? Women and uh, Catherine Deneuve also, but what, what attracts you most when you go shopping, especially in Asia? I was, uh, I think I've been sh sh shopping, as you said, maybe twice, once in Penang, because they're very nice, uh, very nice antique dealer in Penang. And uh, in Kuala Lumpur, the same thing as well. Once I had found the Reebok for my daughter, you know, that's what I went shopping, is antiques. And the film Indochine, which you played uh, the leading role, is there a special message in the film that you would like to portray in this movie? I like the idea that it's a film, it's a very romanesque and very romantic film. Although it's based you know, on the real story of French people in 1920, 1930 until you know, they had to leave the, the Vietnam. But it's a very romantic story where you, I think people can really get involved because all those people, you know, I'm playing the leading lady but I have a daughter, an adopted daughter. She's Vietnamese, she's a princess. 
and I'm running a big plantation of, you know, EVA, rubber, rubber trees. It's very, I think it's very Romanesque and it's very easy for uh, people to get involved when there are sentiments, feelings, you know, and it's characters about things that anyone could have in those circumstances. You know, it's a very, it's about love, it's about passion, it's about relation between people. It's seeing in a film where is, there is so much happening because although it's a romantic and romantic story, it's a, it's Vietnam and it's 1930s and it's the beginning of the problems you know, in Vietnam for in the, the Indochina. So I think it's very, it's probably one of the most important French films this year being made, yes. And uh, my question, next question is, what, this is mainly for the ladies, they all ask, want me to ask this question, how does Catherine Deneuve maintain her youthful and her beauty? Working. For many, many years. Working and doing things with passion, you know, things I like with passion, work, life, friendship. And you, you, you represent the French woman, the French Marianne, to the whole world. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Oh, not to the whole world, because Marianne is typically French, so I don't think people out of France are concerned by uh, Marianne. How do I what? How do you foresee that? How do you feel about that? When I feel... Of many, many leading actresses to be the Marianne. I like the idea because, to me, Marianne is the symbol of uh, the Republic. And it's quite, in my opinion, to think that it's a nice symbol. Many also uh, European stars are going into the Hollywood market. Like for example, your colleague, like Gerard Depardieu, between Carter. You have done several joint... Long time ago, as the song said. <laughs> if any, in the, anything you planned in the future? Um, I'm still, you know, reading things and... Uh, but uh, I don't think the next one I'll be doing will be in, uh, in English, no. Maybe in two years, but uh, not this year. The project I have a French project and comedy, so. And lastly, Mademoiselle um, Dinev, what is your special message to all your fans, your new fans? I'm going. I'm going to try to say something, as I promised. I would uh, try to say, as you asked me, in Malaysian. So I will have to get some help from my. Hello, saya Catherine Dinev. Salam, saya dari Presensi. It's so and so. Francis. Francis. Yes. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you.